Good evening, YouTube. Uh, I know it's been a while, but, you know, life gets in the way. So I thought I'd make a quick little video to showcase what I've got recently over the past month or so, a uh, month or two, in terms of vinyl and uh, a couple of music books. So first off, we have Dark Side of the Moon, which of course is one of the best albums of all time. And an absolute classic. And this one comes with all the little goodies, such as, as the poster, uh, two posters actually, and a sticker. So I'll show those real quick. Here's the sticker. And then poster number one. Great, in concert photos of the band and then poster number two Make sure I'm holding this up the right way yep. Alright, moving on to the Eagles, we have their greatest hits, and I believe this particular record was voted uh, recently as the most su successful album of all time um, in terms of record sales, or the, the best selling album of all time, which is really cool. And they were a great, great band, and uh, Hotel California, of course, their most re revered and well known album an absolute classic and if you've never watched the history of the Eagles documentary uh, go do so right now because it is one of the best music documentaries of all time and it really got me into more of an Eagles mood um, so I just need to add you know the rest of their records and uh, besides the long run I got that in Australia uh, and you know some Poco Linda Ross that you know um, next on, next we have the Beatles, something new. Um, I don't have this particular record, so it was nice to nice to get. Uh, thank you to my friend Kathy for sending me uh, the majority of the albums that you see here today. today. Uh, next we have Chicago. I think this is their greatest hits LP from the 1975, I believe. Terry Kath, uh, extremely underrated guitarist, uh, an absolute legend. Dickie Betts and Great Southern, Atlanta's Burning Down. And an interesting fact about Dickie Betts is I believe at one point he was married to Dale Betts, who went on to become Dale English. Uh, she married Joe English from Wings. So that's a cool little tidback, or tidback, <laughs> tidbit of, uh, or factoid for you. Uh, Leonard Skinner had one more from the road. I'm not that big of a Lawrence Skinner fan, but I appreciate their place in rock history and definitely respect their music. And they have some great songs. All right. So I was in St. Louis recently, and I saw Fleetwood Mac on Tom Petty's birthday, which was October 20th. Saw, I saw the Mac at Scott Trade Center, and they did a cover of Free Falling, which was absolutely incredible, and a beautiful tribute to Tom Petty. Um, you know, just having Mike Campbell with the band is really cool. Because unfortunately, I didn't I didn't get to see the Heartbreakers when they were in St. Louis last year, and I, I it's one of those things where I, re I regret it. Unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I picked up Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers' debut album. Finally, for a decent price, I got this for 15 bucks at is it Vintage Vinyl or Record or um, Planet Records? I can't remember. 
But yeah, their debut album, classic. One of the best debut albums of all time. And You're Gonna Get It, which is of course their second LP. Another classic. And finally, um, I've been really into Nick Drake lately. So I was able to get uh, Pink Moon, the, re the reissue of Pink Moon on vinyl. So now I just need to get um, Brighter Later and Five Leaves Le Five Leaves Left. This is one of the best albums of all time, and it's perfect for a chilly fall day, or you know if it's raining outside. And you can just look out the window and put on, put on Pink Moon. Uh, more Nick Drake, deeper than, than the darkest sea. Search for Nick Drake. I haven't read this yet. But um, this is supposed to be a really good biography of, of Nick and trying to figure out, you know, the man behind the instrument. And finally, I picked up uh, Nick Drake, Remembered for a While, the official companion to the music of Nick Drake, uh, the authorized companion to the music of Nick Drake. This book is absolutely phenomenal. Um, his family put this out, or uh, the estate of Nick Drake, Put this out and it is it is incredible and it'll it will give you a new appreciation for Nick not only as a musician like it'll make you appreciate his songs even more but it'll it'll make you appreciate you know Nick as a person and you know find out just you know a, you get a glimpse of as to who he was as a person through his music and it is it is amazing and it is this book is what I aspire uh, my book on Jimmy McCullough to be like uh, so that's a pretty high bar but worth it I think alright so that's that um, hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you later bye